Parents of students at public universities in Nigeria are now facing an increase in tuition fees. At least 17 higher learning institutions announced an increase in fees of 100 to 200 percent. They say it's to cushion the effects of funding challenges in public institutions, which have been caused by rising inflation. Education experts are calling on the government to intervene. Correspondent Ajak Mangut reports. John Megari is discussing plans for his son's return to school. He says his income as a civil servant will be stretched due to a recent increase in fees. He fears the higher costs could cause some students to drop out. Allowing that the schools should go ahead and put what uh, raise up their phone, and that very body has directly been shifted to the parent. Honestly, it's not going to be easy. And honestly, many children will get out of the school. And his son fears that this could stall his dream of becoming an engineer. I'm in school studying mechanical engineering because I want to become a mechanical engineer in future. And with the increment of the school fees, it's going to be hard on my parents because they are trying to provide what they are going to eat at the same time, trying to raise the money for the school fees. The higher institutions say the 200% increase in fees has become necessary because of rising inflation, which has increased the cost of running the institutions. But there are fears that a consequence may be a huge number of the nearly 2 million students who attend public universities dropping out of school. Education experts say the government needs to immediately intervene by providing loans to students and also increase the minimum wage from the current $38 so that parents can afford the new fees. As much as it's necessary to make this university functional by increasing the school fees, then there has to be various ways. The, the government, you know, will have to think about strategy to mitigate this. For, for example, maybe educational loan to the student, maybe bursary awards, you know, to the students, maybe scholarship for the very bright ones to so take the burden of their parents, meet the parents a little bit, you know, increase the, school, you know, the minimum wage, and then they can have, because most of these parents, there are some parents that have four children, five children, <laughs> where they have to pay school fees and they have to eat. In June, Nigeria's government signed a new law that will provide access to interest-free loans for students in tertiary institutions starting September. The government is also in talks with Nigeria's labor unions to raise the minimum wage and are expected to finalize agreements in the next few weeks. Such a move could help parents out with the family finances and reassure people like John that their children will continue to study. Ajak Mangut, CGTN, Abuja.